Lord, good morning. Good morning. Say to the person beside you, good morning sa iyo kapatid. Yeah. I'm so glad that we can come together once a week sa itong pagkakataon for us to just worship the Lord at para tayo ay makinig ng Word of God for us to grow, to learn. So praise God at uh, nandito kayo ngayon. So sabi mo sa katawin mo, thanks to God na nandito ka ngayon. Parang muntik na ako mag-grow grammar. Well, th- thanks to God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks to God. Okay. Kasi minsan sa likod ng jeep may mga ganun, di ba? Wrong grammar. Anyway, so welcome po uh, sa inyo lahat. We are continuing with our series po. Ang title ng series natin, for those of you who may not know, ay adulting. Adulting. And for those of you na medyo hindi kayo millennial, ano, filenial kayo, feeling nyo millennial kayo, pero hindi. Okay, <laughs> or centennial kayo, <laughs> like me. <laughs> adulting means, it has to do with yung sinasabi ni uh, uh, Brother J.B. kanina, yung... Uh, Imagine mo, sabi niya, feeling niya parang tumatandaan na raw siya kasi 27 siya. So you can imagine yung feeling ko, no? parang medyo ano ako doon, ha? <laughs> okay. Anyway, so konti lang naman tanda mo sa akin, JB, so okay lang yan. That's it. Pursuing uh, the reality of maturity, yan ang ating uh, topic this month. And just to review, for those of you na maaaring nakalimutan niya na, we're talking about four areas ng buhay natin where we need to do some adulting. Kailangan tayo mag-mature, okay? So, hindi lang din sa pagbayad sa Meralco, but more importantly, sa apat na areas na ito, uh, finances, feelings, uh, fitness, family, and friends. And by the way, I'm excited kasi next uh, Sunday, uh, Pastor Regina has volunteered to talk about fitness. Yeah, wow, praise God. Uh, she's going to talk about fitness. Actually, gusto namin si Pastor Ebed, but he declined, so we decided si Pastor, Pastor Regina na lang. So we uh, are we have covered first the finances for those of you na naalala yung last Sunday. Uh, and the question that we uh, asked was that what is the niche what is the mature way to handle money uh, biblically speaking? And this is for everyone regardless kung kayo ay may money o wala, okay? Some of you might feel na wala man akong pera so I don't really care about that. Well, lahat tayo we should care about that kasi one way or the other mahawak tayo ng pera whether maliit lang, medyo malaki or whatever. So, lahat tayo dapat maging uh, mature pagdating sa area ng pera because that's often the, the, the place na nagkakaroon tayong struggle, yung pera o paano kumita ng pera is usually the place or the, that's the arena ng buhay natin na uh, where we either stumble, we lose our way, we become ineffective sa Christian life. So, that's exactly the place na dapat tayo mag-mature. Amen ba yun? Okay? Sa pera. So, what is the mature way to handle money? And uh, we looked at five signposts of financial maturity. In other words, ito yung mga palatandaan ng mga tao who, uh, of course, claim to follow Christ. And paano malalaman na sila ay nagmamature sa area na yan? Meron limang palatandaan. So let me give you the, the five uh, signposts. First is contentment. Okay? Pinag-usapan na natin yan. Next is discipline. Uh, third is balance. And then fourth is faith. And then finally is generosity. So yung mga areas na yan, o yung mga palatandaan na yan shows that you are maturing in your Christian life, in your relationship with God, especially as it relates also to money. Okay? So how many of you are looking at that list, para sa, feeling nyo parang, wow, grabe, ha? karango ko na si Apostle Paul. You know, how many of you like, parang, wow, nandun na ako, nasa dulo na ako ng wala. Okay. Well, how many of you feel like, parang, hindi naman ganyan, medyo konti lang. Nandun lang ako sa mga ilang bahagi dyan, Okay. Alright, so how many of you are your list para, wow, wala ko niya, Lisa. You know, so, anybody here like that? Okay, wala talaga nagtataas kahit ang tanong ko. Na. But and I hope na we're all growing in these areas kasi mahalaga yan sa buhay natin. So my conclusion last Sunday was that your relationship with money shows your level of maturity. So basically, this is one test na pwede mong gawin sa sarili mo. How am I growing in my faith? Well, look at the way you handle money. You know, straightforward yun. How, how do you know that I'm growing my Christian life? Look at the way you handle money, worldly wealth, riches, whatever, okay? So, kung doon ka lang nakafocus talaga, paano kumita in everything, maybe you need to, kailangan ka mag-adulting sa area na yun, okay? Kasi you're not balanced. So, yun ang pinag-usapan natin last Sunday. And if you want to hear the entire message, of course, you can go to our app, download nyo yan sa App Store or sa Google Play. Ang pangalan ng app natin is Get Real App. 
Okay, get the young app. Nasa YouTube din tayo, for those of you who are interested. Na, sa Facebook page din, pwede nyo rin mapanood yun if you're using a laptop. If you're using a mobile phone, hindi nyo mapanood yung video doon. But those are the different areas where you can watch uh, our, ano. By the way, meron din tayong podcast. So kung gusto nyo audio lang, you can go to iTunes and uh, hanapin nyo lang doon ang Real Life Christian Communities. Then you can listen to our sermons, audio lang, hindi kasama ang video. Okay? So yan, konting advertisement. So let's move move forward from there. And balik tayo dito sa listahan na to. And now, today, or this Sunday, we are going to talk about the second one. And what is that? Right. So pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay tungkol sa feelings. So what is the mature way to handle feelings, biblically speaking? Okay? What is the mature way of handling our feelings? How many of you dito meron kayong feelings? That's good to know, okay? Some of you parang may doubts kayo, may feelings kayo, but uh, I think that tamad na kayo magtaas. But all of us dito may feelings tayo. But, so hindi naman sinasabi ng Bible na mali ang magkaroon ng feelings o kasalanan na magkaroon ng feelings. Because feelings is a gift of God. Gift ni Lord dyan sa atin, right? Um, napakahirap talaga pag ang isang tao parang quote-unquote, parang walang feelings. Anong tawag na ang mga kabataan dyan? Cabinet. Cabinet, right. Hollow blocks, cabinet of that sort. So, lahat naman tayo may feelings. Siguro hindi lang talaga tayo gano'n ka-showy. There are some people talagang very emotional. How many of you, you would characterize yourself as being really emotional? Ano ba? Meron mo dito? Wala? O oh, hindi kayo masyadong emotional. Hindi mo parang lumilindol na, may sunog, tapos you know, tahimik ka lang parang, son of our exit. You know? so, gano'n ka lang. Okay. So, how many of you <laughs> are really so self-controlled? Okay? Maybe some of you are like that. But generally, I think lahat naman tayo affectado tayo ni feelings natin. So we want to talk about this. This is so important. I want us to pray and ask God to just, you know, help us to mature sa area na to. Kasi often dito tayo parang <laughs> tumitigil yung ating ano rito, eh, progress dito. Eh. Kasi pag feelings tayo pumasok, parang nasisira na lahat yung ating uh, diskarte. You know? And so we need uh, God's wisdom here. Let's bow our heads and pray. Ask the Lord to speak to us. Father, Salamat po, Panginoon. Thank you. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name, that you are teaching us today about feelings. So, Lord, we open our hearts to you. Salamat po for your wisdom that comes from your word to the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, all of God's people say amen. Amen. And amen. Well, hindi ko alam kung kailan matatapos ang probinsyano. Sa totoo lang. Okay? Now, you know, just to be clear, hindi ako nanonood ng ganyan. But, <laughs> but you know, since the quest to go to the library course where I have my laptop is directly, okay, at least on my right, and then yung TV namin. So, hindi ko ma avoid nisa na mapanood yun. You know? La Luna and everything, because my, my, my wife loves that. But, ewa pala sa inyo, I've, I've noticed na merong bagong style ngayon, itong mga telenovelas na to. Uh, have, you, have, you, have you noticed that? Meron silang camera trick na ginagawa. Uh, every time na merong dialogue o sasabihin niyo isa sa mga characters na medyo makabagbag damdamin no anything na para may sasabihin na parang importante or whatever suddenly yung camera biglang ano di ba yung magfo-focus sa mukha nung so kita mo yung mga tagyawa yung mga ano na di ba o focus so tayo naman para na feel natin yung di ba para lumalapit tayo sa mukha nung character para Kasi gusto, gusto, siguro, uh, uh, parang niisip ko, ang dahilan nun is para ma-focus tayo doon sa pakiramdam o nararandaman ng kung sino man yung karakter na yun. Kung si yan ay si, si yan, sino ba yung video, whatever, okay, ha? Uh, so, yeah, th- that's true, no? Pagdating sa emotions, can, can we all just, siguro, be honest with ourselves? Ang emotion natin tends to somehow parang get our attention, no? Pag tayo may nararamdaman na po-focus tayo doon. Okay? Na parang yun na talaga yung pinaka-importante at that very moment, yung nararamdaman mo na. Have you noticed that? For example, pag ikaw ay nakakaramdam ng inis, talagang damandaman mo na inis ka. At uh, you know, alam mo na inis ka at uh, yun na talaga iniisip mo at that moment na inis ka or galit ka o masama ang loob mo or whatever. And uh, karamihan sa atin, we make decisions not because we logically thought about it, like, how many of you nakapagsabi na parang, ay, hindi ko gusto gawin niya. Bakit? Eh, hindi ko feel. Anybody have said that any, any time sa buhay ninyo, alright? Or siguro, they decide ka, minsan, major pa nga, no? Aalis na ako sa work ko. Bakit? 
di ko na siya feel. Or maybe you know, papasok ka sa isang relationship na gusto ko siya kasi feel ko siya. Yan ang nararamdaman ko. I'm in love, whatever. So, a lot of the decisions that we make every day is uh, really based on feelings. And so, feelings are often our focus sa day-to-day life natin. Now, pag medyo na bubor ka, alam mo yun eh. And then, di ba? Bubor ako, you know, then magpo-post ka, wah, bari wah. So, you, you feel like you're bored or, you know, alam na alam mo yung basta may feeling ka na gano'n. And unfortunately, uh, yung mga tao o marami sa mga tao sa mundo natin are, are simply just, you know, moving here and there based of feelings nila. Okay? If they feel good, then they do this. If they don't, do, they, they don't feel good, then they do that or whatever. Now, mature people, on the other hand, yung mga tao nila ba mature in the Lord, May feelings pa rin naman sila, thank you, okay? Hindi naman sila parang, you know, bato or, or what. But they are not making choices and decisions in life kasi nararamdaman nila. Instead, there is something that's higher in terms of ika nga, yung filter nila, in terms of yung what governs their decisions ultimately. Hindi yung pag nagagalit sila, then okay, bahala lang sa buhay ko, bago buhay nyo, galit ako. Uh, you know, have you ever uh, seen a person like that yung parang moody, di ba? Uh, Ipaggising niya sa umaga, masama siguro ang tulog niya, siguro di maganda yung kama niya, matigas, you know. So, paggising niya, init ang ulo niya, and, and uh, before you know it, magsasalta na siya na masasakit, and everybody's hurt in the house, and everybody's offended, kanya-kanya ng alis, kanya-kanya ng ligo, bihis na, you know, para ma- makaiwas lang sa'yo. And, and at the end of the day, habang duguan na lahat ng tao, if somebody were to ask you, ba't mo ginawa niya, ba't ka nagsisisigaw niya, ba't ka nagwala, eh, wala akong magagawa, yun ang pakiramdam ko eh. So, that's the basic characteristic ng mga tao who are not yet adulting in the area of their emotions. So, my, my purpose today is to challenge each and every one of us dito na mag-adulting na tayo pagdating sa emotions natin. I'm not saying na alisin mo emotions mo because that's not, pa- that's not possible. Okay? But what I'm saying is, siguro start working and start cooperating with the grace of God so that by, you know, as, as time progresses, hindi na ikaw yung parang pag nainis ka, nainis ka, pag galit ka, nagalit ka, pag tinamad ka, tamad ka, pag bored ka, bored ka, pag depressed ka, depressed ka, but rather you become a person who makes choices on a higher basis, on a higher level. And that's why we're going to look at uh, a passage of scripture today na I think it's very relevant, very important. In fact, if you haven't read itong passage na to, I suggest that you do so. Today, we're going to read it, pero if I were you, read it again sa bahay, basahin niyo ulit. It's Galatians 5, verse 13 to 26. And the Apostle Paul, sa book of Galatians, is uh, really very concerned sa mga taga-Galatians kasi for some reason, na-influensyaan sila ng mga false teachers and all of that. And they're leaving yung kanilang faith to begin going in the direction of being more legalistic. Ika nga, kaya misa na tawag dyan, the Galatian heresy. Kasi they're thinking more in terms of yung, uh, you know, becoming parang Jewish again, you know, relying more on the law, yung mga commandments and all, para maging godly sila. So they're becoming more and more people na para yung righteousness nila nakadepend sa kung gano'n sila ka, you know, ka masunurin sa mga batas ng Panginoon. And Paul was really upset with that kasi parang nawawala na yung tiwala nila do sa ke Christ and learning to live as, you know, followers of Christ. So yung letter na to is one of those few letters, few letters lang, uh, I think it's the only letter, na medyo ang umpisa ni Paul parang galit. Okay? Parang galit siya dyan. So, umpisa pa lang. Okay? Kasi doon sa ibang mga letters siya, parang, you know, parang meron siyang malumanay na pagbate, maganda yung greetings niya. Okay? okay? Pero pag natin sa Galatians, parang umpisa pa lang. Chubuchugi na. Okay? Kasi he's really upset because people in Galatia are living uh, outside of ika nga yung grace-filled lifestyle. Now, Galatians 5, on the other hand, is that uh, chapter sa book na to, or sa letter na to, where Paul really addresses and focuses on ano ba itsura ng Christian life. Okay? Kasi iniisip ng mga tao, oh, puro ka naman grace. Eh. Paano yung ano, parang holiness? Paano yung righteousness? Paano magiyari niyang pag puro ka grace yung mga tao? Basta na lang, gagawin nila kung gusto nilang gawin. And sabi ni Paul, basically, sa Galatians 5, well, that's not true because the Christian life, if it is properly understood, if it is lived in the Spirit, basically the whole section is all about living the Christian life in the power of the Holy Spirit. And he explains that, and I think it's good for us na tingnan natin ito, kasi yung mga sasabihin niya rito are so full of emotional terms. Say that with me, emotional terms. 
So, pag binasa mo yung chapter, he's going to mention a lot. At ang background nito is that doon sa Galatia, habang nandun nga yung idea na parang nagde-deviate sila sa gospel, at the same time, nandun din yung mga away. Isang katapang away, you know, conflicts and everything. Hindi sila nagkakasundo. So, Paul is going to address that context by, by at the same time teaching the Galatians na ganito yung Christian life. This is how you live the Christian life. Okay? So, for those of you na baka ako confused kayo, baka akala nyo Christian life is para mga do's and don'ts, ganyan, ganyan. This is a good chapter to meditate on. Kasi this is about living by grace, pero hindi yung parang, o sige, kung ano na lang mangyayari, mangyayari na. But it's more like yung discipline of walking in the Spirit. And that's what we're going to study today. Amen? Alright? So, basahin nyo as soon as you get home para lalo nyo maintindihan. So, today we're going to look at four principles. Four principles that guide mature people in handling feelings. So, again, the Bible does not say na i-reject mo yung feelings mo or yung feelings mo ay parang wag mong harapin, magtago ka, no? Feelings are very much part of who we are. So, gusto ni Paul na parang, okay, you face to your feelings, acknowledge them. But, at the same time, wag hayaan mo yung, wag yung feelings mo mag-control, wag yung feelings mo mag-determine kung ano yung mga choices na gagawin mo as a follower of Christ. You have to go beyond that. And there is a principle that we need to, to understand. So, four principles yun, by the way. Okay? So, let's dive in and look at these principles. Ano ba yan? First one. Okay? The first principle is this. Serving one another in love, according to the Apostle Paul, is more important than feelings. Once again, uh, serving one another in love is more important than feelings. Now, what does that mean? Most of you kasi, lalo na February, di ba? When you think about love, you think in terms of feelings again. Right? Most young people do that. Pag sinabing, ano, o siya na ba? Yung po, wala pa akong feelings. You know? So, feeling, they think love is all about feelings. And that's why a lot of young people are not yet ready for marriage. You know? Uh, how many of you have at- attended a wedding or have been married? Sino ta? Married kayo or you've attended a, a wedding? Okay, so some of you. Well, you should. You know, bago dumating si Lord, you should attend a wedding. Be funny yun. Okay, let's move on. Uh, now, pag umating kayo nakasal, one of the things na tinatanong ng pastor o sino man yung officiate ng wedding is, uh, okay, do you love so and so, ganyan, ganyan, in sickness, in health, and, you know, for richer, for poorer, blah, blah, blah. In other words, nagbibigay siya ng mga extreme conditions and cases at ang tanong, do you still love this person or will you love this person kahit anong mangyari? And sagot dapat ng mag- mag-asawa is, ano? I do, right? So it's present tense, hindi I did, right? So it's I do. So which means, you know what? I'm making a promise. I'm making a promise in front of everybody in the presence of God na kahit itong tao na ito ngayon na nasa harap ako, ngayon maganda siya, you know, naka-white, ganyan-ganyan, tapos pogi siya, you know, naka-americana siya and everything. Yeah, I love this person right now. Kinikilig ako to the bones. And, you know. But there will come a time na itong babae na ito, hindi na siya, you know, Coca-Cola, magiging Pepsi na siya, magiging, you know, uh, C2, whatever, itsura niya. Uh, and then itong lalaki na ito, iba na rin magiging itsura, mawala ng buhok, you know. I will still love this person because Love is a decision, not just a set of feelings. There are loving feelings associated with it. When you love a person, sepe, na excite ka kasama siya, but not, not all the time. Those of you who are married will know, know this, amen? So, I mean, if you're married, okay? There are times sa pag-gising mo, pag-tingin mo, so, diba, ikaw na naman, you know? Meron, you know there, there are feelings like that, okay? Because, ganun talaga yun. And, and, and then sometimes, Pag tinitingnan mo yung asawa mo, di ba, through the years, lumaki na yung tiyan niya, na, yun, di ba? Tapos, hindi na, na siya nag-aayos sa sarili. Hindi ko ito, mga kabataan na yan, no? Ang mga kabataan kasi, pag aaharap sila sa isa't isa, pogi talaga yun, nakatayo pa yung mga buhok, yun, may kula, yun, okay? So, eh, ang mga lalaki, pag nag-asawa yan, sige, kung ano makita mo, oh, ano, ang pag- you know, pagkain natin. So, turn off minsan talaga. But, but, because of the, the, the nature of love itself, which is a promise, hindi siya nakadepende sa mga ganoon. So kahit na makakita ako ng mas maganda pa sa wife ko, which I doubt. Okay. Yes, okay. Ano mga, mga banat dyan, di ba? <laughs> Even, if it, <laughs> Even if it happens. Okay. No, I made a commitment, right? Before the Lord and before everybody else, you know, 
no ako kinasal that I would love my wife kahit minsan you know I mean vice versa din naman yan there are times that she finds it very hard to love me because masungit ako uh, you know ma maarte ako mayaba I so many things about me right na unloving unlovable but we had committed it to each other so the point is this serving one another in love is more important than feelings why feelings sometimes parang umaangat masyado sa isipan mo na parang okay naiinis ako dito nagagalit ako dito so you don't care anymore about serving that person in love well Paul says no that's not the principle mga mature na tao that's not the way they operate let's look at the scriptures now dadala ko dadala but let's look at the word of god you my brothers sabi and sisters were called to be free that's who you are sabi mo sa katabi mo you are free okay no no Bata Kristiano ko, may kanta kami ganyan. I'm free. I'm free to be the servant of the Lord. You know, clap your hands. Hindi, bayon. Baka tayo. So, we're, we're free. Eh, let me say, we're free. Dati, you know, wala ka pa sa Panginoon, parang you, you're obligated or you have no choice. Pag naiinis ka, wala naiinis ka. Pag nagagalit ka, nagagalit ka. Pag nalulukot ka, nalulukot ka. Didepress ka, didepress ka. Well, Paul says, hey, you know, good news. If you're a Christian, the Holy Spirit is in you. Binigyan ka ng gift of the Holy Spirit, necessary yun to become a Christian. Without the Holy Spirit, you're not a Christian. So the Holy Spirit is God's gift, and therefore, meron ka ng kalayaan. You are now free to make a choice. Isn't that wonderful? Pag ako ay naiinis sa'yo, I don't have to act it out. I don't have to behave like a jerk. I don't have to make, I don't have to say anything that is hurtful. Just because hurt ako doesn't mean I'll hurt you. I have a choice. And the Bible says, now I'm free. But do not use your freedom, sabi ni Paul, to indulge the flesh. In other words, may gusto yung luma kong sarili. The flesh is a theological term. Maybe sabi niya, that's yourself, na apart from God. Pag sinabing flesh sa Bible, that's you, the old you, na matigas ang ulo, na ayaw mag-submit kay Lord. So yun ang, yun ang term, terminology doon, flesh, right? So I, I don't need to... You know, please my flesh. Gusto ng flesh ko magalit, mag-walk out. Gusto ng flesh ko magsalta ng masakit. Gusto ng flesh ko gumante. Gusto ng flesh ko magtaas ng boses. Gusto ng flesh ko magdabog. But I don't have to do that. Amen? Because the Bible says, you know, I don't have to do it. Rather, sabi niya, serve one another humbly in love. That's my choice. That's a choice that I can make. And it's a good choice. Amen? Serving other people means iniisip ko yung interest niya. Now, l- let me clarify this. This doesn't happen overnight. Like parang narinig niyo ako ngayon, parang sabi niyo, oh, okay, serve one another in love. Sige, bukas, I'll serve one another in love. It doesn't work out like that. And as, as, as we progress dito sa message na to, you begin to see na merong effort and discipline involved. I, I don't become a, the kind of person that God wants me to be kasi naisip ko lang. Or even that I prayed about it, Okay. I have to make certain choices and paulit-ulit yun until yung character trait na yun becomes part of who I am. Okay? And we'll talk more about that. But basically, may choice ka. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, may choice ka. Some of you have a revelation na ito. Parang, ah, may choice ba ako? <laughs> Di ba? Hello? Huh? Pag, pag nasa sa, sa, sa bus ka, you know, there are a lot of things na nakakairita, di ba? May napakang ka or whatever or di ka sinuklian. And there's always that temptation na magwala ka, mag, you know, magmataas ka. Kilala niyo ba ako kung sino ako or tawagin niyo yung manager niyo. There's so many ways to act out those things sa, sa ganun konteksto. But hey, maybe it's a good reminder na sabi mo sarili mo, take mo na, I don't have to do that. I don't have to call attention sa, to myself. You know, so, so what? Kung madisag- ma, ano, kung madisadvantage ako. So what? Kung, you know, hindi dumating agad yung in-order ko the way I want it. I mean, it's, it's okay. I don't have to make an issue out of it. Hindi naman ako kinakailangan. You know, a lot of times kasi arrogant tayo or self-righteous tayo. Pag nakakita tayo ng mga tao nagkakamali, sasabihin natin, ah, ako hindi ko gagawin yan. Pero pag napunta ka sa situation na ganun, gagawin mo rin yun. So we need to just be honest and say, you know, Lord, there's so many things in my life na kailangan ma- Ma, ma bago, ma develop, and I know I, I need you to make that happen. And, and that's the reason why, uh, listen, that when you pray something like, Lord, tulungan mo naman ako maging mas mabait ako, God allows certain circumstances sa buhay mo so that you can make a choice that eventually will lead to you becoming a person na mabait. Okay? Like if I say, na, Lord, Tulungan mo ako maging patient ako. I'm so impatient. Though. Please make me, uh, help me to become patient. And immediately, meron situation that makes you impatient. Why? Because God answers prayers. 
Amen? God, God, God answers your prayers. Sometimes, Lord, gusto ko mag-grow. Okay, fine. Here are some things that you need to go through to grow. So don't be afraid. Baka iba sa inyo para, ah, ganun ba? Hindi na ako pray Hindi ako nang-pray na ganyan. So, yeah, don't, don't think that way, right? But please, uh, I want you to understand this. May purpose si Lord sa atin. And He cannot use us unless we, you know, we, He cannot use us if we're like that as we are right now, filled with sinful mindset, sinful tendencies, sinful words, and everything. He has to redeem us. He has to change us from the inside out. Amen? So you've you got to understand that. And one of the things talaga na nagiging uh, stumbling block sa atin is kapag may mga nangyayari sa opisina, sa school, sa marriage, na naapektuhan yung emotions natin. And the Lord is saying, okay, I want you to do some adulting in this area. Instead of always feeling na parang pag na-offend ka, offend ka. Okay? Pag, na, pag medyo na-violate na konti yung mga karapatan mo, quote-unquote, parang nagwawala ka. Really? Do you have to do that? Kailangan mo ba ipakita sa bang mundo na ikaw ay napakataas? Can you not just humbly accept it just like Jesus Christ was even slapped on His face and He did not retaliate? Amen? Well, I can back on this, you know. Di ba? Because all of us, lahat tayo, pag medyo nakakaramdana ng hindi maganda, nag act out na tayo instead of asking ourselves, can I be a servant in this case? What is the most loving thing that I should do sa situation na to? Amen? Are you listening? Minsan kailangan mawaba tayo sa mga trono natin eh. Kasi pag medyo na ano tayo ng kote, na nababother tayo ng kote, parang gusto mo na i-exert yung pagiging hari mo eh. Can you just be a servant for a while? And learn how to consider others better than yourself? <clears throat> Walang amen. Tahimik. I can hear a pin drop. Diba? Some of us dito need to be servants kasi masyado tayong pabebe. Lagi tayong, you know, bida lagi sa lahat ng pagkakataon. Okay lang, ma-disadvantage. Okay lang na mas sikat yung iba kasi sa'yo. Okay lang na mas magaling. You don't even have to, alam mo, misa, meron kang alam. Practice the discipline of abstaining. Meron kang alam, nag-uusap, meron kang sasabihin, abstain, don't speak. Why? Because you're teaching yourself humility. And God will develop a humble heart in you. Okay, let's move on. For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command, love your neighbor as yourself. So Paul is saying, yung full attention natin sa mga commandments ng Panginoon is wrong. Because if we focus instead in the proper way of living the Christian life according to God's ways, yung purpose ng law ultimately will be fulfilled. Why? Kasi yung law is really all about love. Pag binasa mo lahat ang commandments ng Lord, for example, Ten Commandments, pag binasa mo yan, it's all about loving God and loving others. Amen? So sabi ni Paul, no, you know, don't focus there. Focus on how God wants you to live your life. So sabi niya rito, love your neighbor as yourself. So if you bite and devour each other, watch out, uh, or you will, dis- you will be destroyed by each other. So sabi niya, look, you have a choice here. You have a choice. Kahit sa kanila gayon ng Panginoon, you can either be the salt and light that brings about peace, o kasama ka sa problema ng mundong ito, na every time mayroong pagtatalo, nakikipagtalo ka. You can be different. Amen. That's why the Bible says, blessed are those who pursue peace. Or blessed are those who are the peacemakers. For they will be called children of God. Amen? So, next time na medyo ma-open-open ka dyan, can you just be a humble servant and say, Lord, okay lang. Yeah, sabi mo nga, okay lang. Okay. Hindi yung kung konti problema, po-post ka na agad dyan. May mga tao dyan. Ang yayap. Come on! You don't have to do that. Let them be. Amen? Wow, para wala masyado nag amen dito. Okay. Second, walking in the Spirit, here's another principle. So the first one is that, you know, love, serving one another in love is a better choice. Number two is walking in the Spirit enables us to master our feelings. Now, feelings are really quite strong, di ba? Pansin nyo yung? Uh, hirap talaga, no, kasi some of us, uh, attitude natin ganito eh. Pag meron tayo mga nararamdaman, akala natin it is by talagang, you know, biting our lips and, you know, talagang, sige, alam, pigilan ko yan. Lalo na sa mga diet. Sino sa'yo nagda-diet? Meron ba dito? Okay. You know, it's really very hard, di ba? 
Yung iba sa inyo, meron kayong seafood diet. Diba? Every time you seafood, you know, you die if you don't eat, right? So, seafood diet. Anyway, just the, well, I think it was yesterday, uh, kumain kami ng, ng wife ko kasi meron, may bisita ang church natin uh, from Germany, okay? So, naisip ng wife ko, let's treat them out kasi, ano eh, very generous sila. Nag-seminar, wala silang siningil on everything. Nagbigay sila ng mga notes. So, sabi ng wife ko, sige, total, bir- yeah, birthday kasi ng wife ko. Happy birthday, love. You know, so, February 16. You know, okay. So, anyway, nag-advance. Ano na kami? Birthday celebration. So, nandun na nga kami sa, kumain kami sa, sa buffet. Una-una sabi ng wife ko, do you think maganda mag-buffet tayo? Yeah, maganda yan. It's a good idea. Okay? So, yun, buffet kami. And, uh, siyempre, you know, daming pagkain, right? At, uh, nakita ko yung, ano, yung pinaka-weakness ko, ice cream. No? Sa kay ice cream. Ube. No? Ube. Sabi ko rin sa ube, tumayo ako sa harapan eh. No? <laughs> Hindi kita kakainin. Ha? Kala mo? Sige. So, and then I proceeded to walk out about two steps. And then I came back. Pero kung pipilitin mo ako, you know. <laughs> you know? And so, kain ako ganyan. And then, siyempre, kwento-kwento. Ah, Saan ba nagkakintuhan para wala hindi makahalata? Yung simple, tayo ulit ako. Diretso ulit ako doon sa ice cream, you know. So, mm-hmm. Okay, last na, ha? Last, last, last. Okay. Kain. But, but you know, I'm saying, say, saying to myself, Okay, na kumain niya, ice cream niya, nakakataba yan, you know. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, you know re, I rebuke that in Jesus' name, you know. Get deep behind me, <laughs> Satan. <laughs> Sarap yung ice cream. <laughs> I think that illustrates most of us dito na nag-i-struggle tayo when we feel something, you know, it could be other things like lust, you know, pornography, whatever. Iniisip natin, the way to stop it, is by, you know, talaga, uh, ayoko na niyo, hindi ko na gagawin yan, hindi na ako manonood niya, no? and, then, uh, and then we end up, you know, being defeated, kasi mas malakas talaga yung emotions na yun, right? Kung makahina ka, ng, kung mahina ka sa cake, at may naglatag ng cake sa'yo dyan, sa harapan mo, parang, ayoko na kasi, <laughs> konti na lang. <laughs> It's just so hard. Uh, ganun din naman sa ibang era, sa mga lalaki, no? hindi naman cake ang mga lalaki. It could be other things, like uh, yeah, you know, pornography, for example. Di ba? Para, ayoko na, hindi na. Hindi na. And then, titingin-tingin sa paligid mo, wala naman tao. Sige, ngayon lang, minsan lang. And then you watch it. It's, it's impossible to overcome yung, yung desires coming from the, this body kung sa sarili mo lang willpower ka magtitiwala. And so here's what, what, what Paul says about that. You know, it's about walking in the Spirit. enables us to master our feelings. Sabi, so I say, walk by the Spirit, sabi ni Paul, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Notice nyo yung, yung construction ng sentence. Yeah. I, walk by the Spirit, so this is what you should do. Walk by the Spirit, mean, meaning, you know, in, invest in those activities, in those uh, uh, behaviors that opens up your life to the work of the Holy Spirit. Basically, yun ibig sabihin nun. Okay? So, prayer, you know, uh, reading God's Word, uh, spending time in solitude and silence, ganyan, uh, uh, learning to practice the Sabbath, you know, slowing down, reading God's Word, all of those things, mga disciplines. It opens up your heart and your spirit to the work of the Holy Spirit sa buhay mo, the work of God sa buhay mo. And that is sabi niya, that's the key. Walk by the Spirit. And then, sabi niya, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Pakinggan niyo yun. The key para makahindi ka sa mga temptations is not by saying no, but by developing yung spiritual strength mo or stamina mo so that when the temptation comes, it's easier for you to say no. Kasi tinrain mo na yung spiritual muscles mo. Alright? So, that's why merong mga disciplines like fasting. Bakit may, may fasting sa Bible? Ba't tinuturo yan sa Christian life na fasting ka pa misa-misa? Because pag nagugutom ka, talaga yun ang dominate sa isip mo, right? Amen ba yun? Not as yung mga Pilipino pag kumakain, ano pinag-uusapan? Pagkain pa rin. Okay? So, yung pagkain is so, ano sa atin, parang so controlling ng ating pagkatao na minsan God would say, I want you to just abstain from food. For several days. Why? Because God wants you to learn that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from God. Yung mga tao na hindi pinapractice ito, hindi sila nagsispiritual disciplines, pag nahinarapan mo ng pagkain niya, lamon na ka dyan. But there are people who are maturing in this area, they're walking in the spirit, and as a result, mas na master nila yung kanilang mga desires, yung mga feelings nila. Amen? Tama ba yan? Alright, so, 
For the flesh, sabe, desires what is contrary to the spirit, and the spirit what is contrary to the flesh. So in other words, may gusto yung old self mo palagi. Yung luma mo sarili, may mga gustong gawin yan. Kung, kung saan ka nasanay, inom, ilo, lasing, tongit, whatever it is that's kinasanay mo in your old life, naka-built in na yan, naka-program na yan sa buong pagkatao mo. Such that kung hindi ka gagawa ng proactive steps para to to allow God to have more control sa iba't ibang members of your body, paulit-ulit ka lang sa old habits mo. But walking in the Spirit begins the deliverance na yung process na yun that is so important sa buong pagkataon natin. You know, our thoughts, you know, speaking God's word in our thoughts, in our hearts, yung mga feelings natin, addressing yung ganyan mga bagay by the word of God, yung mga pinapractice mong ganun, increases your stamina sa area ng spiritual life mo. Amen? So, yun yung susi. Now, let's move, move on. Sabi, they are in conflict with each other so that you are not uh, to do whatever you want. So, in other words, ito yung susi sa paglaguna sa Panginoon. Okay? It's learning how to prioritize yung soul mo. Learning how to give sufficient time to develop yung soul life mo, yung inner life mo. Hindi yung puro external lang, yung puro ka activities and all of that. And this is true, kahit sa mga nagbiministry. Kung puro ka external activities, pero yung soul mo is deprived of the nourishment of God's word and grace and all of that, Kahit yung mga nasa ministry, nagpo-fall. Amen. So it's very important to, to, to walk by the Spirit. But if you are led by the Spirit, sabi, you are not under the law. Ano ibig sabihin it means, it means na yung operating principle mo sa buhay, hindi na yung mga bawal ba to, bawal ba dyan, meron bang aral sa sinyan sa paligid ko, o wala. Okay? Kasi those who live by the law, ganito. Diba? Punta sila sa intersection, red light, Pero gabi na, will they honor the red light? No, they will look around to see kung merong MMDA. At kung walang MMDA na nagbabantay, and look around, they direct sila kahit na red light. Those are the people na immature who are living by do's and don'ts, by rules. Pag nakakita ng do not enter, titingnan muna kung ano, and then saka papasok. Pag merong pupunta sa isang government agency, uh, medyo maraming pila, gagawa ng paraan para dumulas yung proseso. You know, because they are immature people. They don't want to just just trust in God's grace sa buhay nila. Okay? And they, and they, they do not understand na ang, ang mga decisions na ginagawa mo galing sa Holy Spirit inside of you who was who's saying to you, don't do that, go this way, go that way, do this, do that. The Holy Spirit is guiding you toward the life that He wants you to live. But you tayo struggle. Amen? Amen, Bell? You tayo struggle eh. For example, the Holy Spirit says, don't go to that site. Don't go to that site. Now, ready mo na yung boses at yung bibig mo, di ba? Don't click that. That's why you struggle because you don't want to walk in the Spirit. Let God direct your ways. Amen? At sa pamagitan nun, you will become more and more empowered to resist all kinds of feelings na nararamdaman mo sa katawan mo. Amen po ba? So that's true, kahit sa galit and everything. Mature people, minsan, you know, nagagalit pa rin naman sila. Amen? Pero makapansin mo, mature people, pag galit sila, hindi sila parang overpowered by galit. Instead, they are overpowered, you know, they're filled with the Spirit of God and they make a different choice. Amen? Alright, okay. Third, sinful choices based on feelings alone destroy relationships. By the way, you know, young people, kung kayo nag ng partner in life, you know, isa sa mga dapat yung tingnan, is this person walking in the spirit? Is this person parang prioritizing yung kanyang soul life? O wala ba siya ginawa kundi mag-brush, brush, you know, mapag-ganggit. Okay, well, let me tell you, that, that's a problematic thing. Kasi saan siya uhugot ng strength to be able to work on the relationship na gusto niyo i-pursue together? Wala siya pagkukuhanan. Because only the Spirit can enable a person to sacrifice, to serve, to submit, to do all those positive things that help a relationship grow. Amen? Alright. 
So sinful choices based on feelings alone destroy relationships. So sabi sa Bible, the acts of the flesh are obvious. Sabi niya, you don't need, yung kailangan PhD dyan, you know, permanent head damage, yung mga kailangan niya. Obvious siya, sexual immorality, impurity, debauchery. How many of you know on a debauchery? Huh? Only a couple? Okay, debauchery. <laughs> debauchery lang, di nyo alam. Okay. Joke, joke lang, okay. Debauchery. Waste. Ibig sabihin nun, waste. You're wasting time, you're wasting energy, you're wasting talent. You're, anytime you're wasting something, that's called debauchery. Pero mga ganda yung salita, di ba? Hindi halata. So, kung nakakita ka ng pa, you know, pahigahiga dyan, sabi mo, debauchery. Sabi mo, debauchery. Okay, so, hindi halata na, you know, na pinapagalitan mo siya, right? So, kung may waste yung buhay niya, that's debauchery. Uh, idolatry and witchcraft, sabi niya, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. Yun ang pinakamaganda rin, and the like. Because nagbibigay lang siya ng example. He's basically saying, people who live like this, basically ang nag-dominate ng kanilang isipan is how they feel. Alright? So kung feeling nila na mag, magkaroon ng fits of rage, kung feeling nila magkaroon ng dissension sa away, then they just do it without even considering ano mangyari kung ito pa yung makakasama ng relationship. So example, there are people na pag nagbitiw ng salita, talaga naman tagus sa buto, and they don't even think about it. Later on, pag duguan ka na, sasabihin nila, pasensya ka na, ganyan lang ako talaga. <laughs> Hello? Mature people are not like that. Mature people weigh carefully kung ano sasabihin nila. And when they speak, they speak in, in a way as much as possible that, that is encouraging, that builds up other people. Hindi sila nagsasalata ng masakit na salita para lang ipalabas na magaling sila. Okay? So, this is an area na we all need to be have adulting moments. Amen po ba? O, tahimik dito. So, totoo lang. Uwi na kaya ako. You know? So we, we need to understand. Yung mga, okay, galit ka, di ba? The, you know, dumating ka sa bahay, hindi mo nagustuhan, yung makalat, okay, hindi nalikpit, yung kanin nakabukas, may ipis na sa loob, you know, so, oh, wow, you know, ah, so galit ka siyempre, frustrated ka, uh, pagod ka in everything, so you blurt out, you, you know, you shout at everybody. Uh, yeah, I understand that because a normal person will probably do that. But a mature person will not do that. Probably a mature person will sit down with everybody and say, usap tayo, I think uh, we need to agree on certain things kasi yung ipis, alam nyo, pag pumasok sa kanin, mahirap isubo yung kanin kasi baka sumama yung ipis. So, you know, when, when you talk about it, or maybe you need to just practice certain things. Doon. Yeah, at first, ang hirap. Huh? How many of you know, subukan nyo na, na nainis ka sa isang tao, but instead of saying something hurtful sa kanya, magsasalta ka na malumanay para sa kanya para magkaunawa ka. How many of you have tried that? It's hard, di ba? Right? It's hard? Lalo na pag yung lahat ng salita niya, sabi, sabi mo sa kanya, wali ka, upo tayo, mag-uusap tayo. Puro ka na lamang usap, eh. ganyan ka naman, wala ka naman pinupo. Okay, uh, paking, ano lang, uh, pakinggan natin ang isa't isa. Pakinggan mo yung utak mo. Yun, 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 uh, you know, so, alika, mag- ano lang natin, settle natin yung problema. I want to hear your side. Puro ka naman hear your side, you know. So, parang, adagan yung mamay, parang, ha, ganun, so, sutukan. Sabi, sutukan. <laughs> And that's when you, be, you make the choice and you say, God, I will walk in the Spirit. And to be honest, it won't happen overnight. It won't happen overnight. As you persist in that behavior, trusting God in the process, in dito self-effort, saying, God, uh, itong tao kausap ko ngayon, maybe you're just praying silently. Lord, to kausap ko ngayon, gusto kong patayin to, sa totoo lang. <laughs> but uh, I want to follow your ways. So I want to be kind, and I want to speak softly. So Lord, tulungan mo ako by God's grace. And so you try. And then, at, wala pa rin, ganun pa rin siya. So you, you try, by God's grace. And you fail, you know, darating ka sa punto na napapasigaw ka na rin kasi naiinis ka na. But you don't, you don't give up, you persevere, you, you practice great, and you say, God, help me, I, I need you. And over time, over time, people are surprised. Because in the midst of conflict at Awai, you are the gentle person. doesn't happen overnight. But understand this. 
Yung mga wrong choices mo because nagagalit ka, na mirarandaman ka, that destroys relationships. Amen? Okay, nobody likes that, right? Okay. I warn you, sabi ni Paul, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. Ang ibig sabihin ni Paul, hindi yun sa hindi kayo pupunta sa heaven, ang ibig sabihin is, hindi mo ma-experience yung pagkahari ni Lord sa life mo and all the blessings that result out of that kasi rebelde ka. Kasi you're always choosing your way. So hindi ka makaranas ng peace which is the result of the kingdom of God in your life. Hindi mo maranasan yung, you know, yung, yung mga blessings that result out of being under God's rule. Hindi mo ma-experience yun. Why? Kasi ang tigas na ulo. You, you want it your own way. Galit ka, sige, wala ka, lapahagis ka ng plato, whatever, nagdadabog ka. That's why wala kang peace. So ngayon, natataka ka, Christian ka, pero ang depressed-depressed mo, galit ka sa mundo, kaaway mo lahat, kaaway mo yung jeep driver, kaaway mo si lahat, kaaway mo, pati yung aso mo, sinisipan, kaaway mo lahat, wala kang kapayapaan. And you say, ba't ka rito? Kala ko ba, pag-Christian, mayroong peace. Wala kang peace because you are not walking in the Spirit. Wow. Amen, Doc? Hindi ko naman kayo pinapagalitan. Ano naman ako, sir? I'm soft. You know? Okay. Sige. Last, na pinag-uugat ang prinsipyo, is keeping in step with the Spirit results in better feelings. Nobody wants to be depressed, right? Anybody here likes to be depressed? Yung parang feeling mo, lonely ka, victim ka, di ba, lahat ng tao, lahat sila masaya, pag titignan mo sa Facebook, masaya sila lahat, yabang nyo, masaya kayo, you know, so, tapos, ang ano mo, profile mo, itim, you know, so, <laughs> ano ka, right, so, uh, well, that's not the way to live, right? Ano kasi life yun? Every day is a gift from God, and you live your life na depressed ka, galit ka sa mundo, is that the way to live? Sayang naman ang panahon. Right? Instead of you fulfilling God's purpose, masyado ka nag-iimo doon sa little world mo doon. Di ba? Meron kang ika nga self-pity party at ang ibitata mo si Satan at kayo dalawa lang, you know? So, it's a depressing experience. Well, as opposed to that, keeping in step with the Spirit results in better feelings. Okay. So, sabi ni Paul, but, the fruit of the Spirit. In other words, if you're walking in the Spirit, you're practicing, practicing the spiritual disciplines, nakikinig ka Lord. You know, you give time for the Word of God, hindi yung, you know, tamad ka and everything. You allow God to speak into your life palagi. You open yourself to the to the influence of God in your life, directing your ways. So, nag invest ka palagi doon. Ano resulta nun? Well, sabi John, love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So, resulta ng life ng isang tao nagmamature sa Panginoon as we is walking in the Spirit is more and more positive feelings, better feelings, better relationships. Right? So, imbis na away na away sa bahay, may kapayapaan. Imbis na ang mga churches naghahati-hati, merong working together peacefully. Okay? Instead na parang, ano ka, worldly ka, taas na taas ng BP mo, you live a very relaxed, you know, practicing the rhythm of grace, and yeah, you work, but you're not, you know, parang obsessed with, with money to the point na hindi ka nag-rest, hindi ka nag-soul care. You know, your, your life is bad. So, ang resulta nun are positive feelings. Positive things, which is the fruit of the Spirit working in you. Sino may ayaw na? Right? We all want that. So living by the Spirit does that. And against such things, there is no law. Wala nakalagay sa Bible, thou, thou shalt not be joyful. I mean, <laughs> I mean la- lahat ng sinasabi dyan is all part of what God wants for you and me. Amen? So gusto ng Panginoon maranasan natin itong mga ito. Gusto niya na ma-experience natin yung faithfulness, kindness, and goodness. Di ba mas maganda yung feeling mo sa sarili mo na Instead of nagwawala ka, you respond in kindness. Amen? Amen. Habang lahat ang mga tao nagtetake advantage ng kapwa nila, you're a good person. Isn't that a better feeling? Amen? So it's walking in the Spirit. And so Paul says, those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. So, you know, bring that to the cross. And since we live by the Spirit, 
Let us keep in step with the Spirit. So this is a day-to-day -day discipline. Ginagawa ng mga mature na tao. It's a day-to-day -day discipline. And you guard your time. You guard yourself. Okay? You put into your lifestyle certain disciplines of slowing down, being silent, opening, your up, opening yourself up to the scriptures, allowing God's word to you know, seep into your consciousness, meditating, writing down, pag may sermons, you know, and then thinking about it, discussing it with your life group. You know, those are the kinds of disciplines that strengthen your soul. Amen. And when you do that, when you keep in step with the Spirit, notice niyo that you become more and more the kind of person God wants you to be. So, let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other. So, sa madaling salita, don't go in that direction. Yung ganong klaseng emotional trauma. Instead, choose to walk in the Spirit. So, let me end with this. Mature believers are led by the Spirit, not by feelings. Mature believers are led by the Spirit, not by feelings. Amen? Nalulukot ka? Depressed ka? Stand up. Rejoice in the Lord. Piliin mo promises ng Panginoon. Nagagalit ka ba? You know? Put your trust in the Lord. It doesn't matter what people do to you. What matters is what God has done in you. Amen? So put your hope in the Lord. Huwag ka ma-stress sa mga tao sa paligid mo. Walk in the Spirit. Trust God. Practice the disciplines. Sa ganung paraan, may experience mo, mas magandang buhay. At hindi mo kailangan manood sa TV sa umaga to experience that. Amen? Will you just stand up right now?